live walking tour. I'm Chris. This is Yellow Productions. This is our little explorer. She's joining us for this live walk, and I'm going to go forward so that you can see exactly what I'm seeing. So today we're going to be exploring Balboa Island. It is one of the most expensive neighborhoods in Newport Beach, California. Just to show you, it's an island. This is the channel from the mainland of Newport Beach, California. There's a small bridge that you can cross to get in here. It's just a two-lane bridge. It's all decorated for the holidays. And what I'm going to do in video is walk you around this little 0.2 mile island. It's really quite small. And, uh, but it is one of my favorite places in Orange County, California, and particularly one of my favorite places for the holidays because they do a really amazing job decorating all of these houses for the holidays. Uh, I'd like to welcome everybody on the live stream. I see people from Canada and from here. Uh, and hi, Amy. I just ran into Where's My Map uh, before the holiday decorations. So, if you are wondering how expensive it is to purchase a house here on Balboa Island, well, an interior lot that does not have an ocean view is probably about two or three million dollars. If you want one of these that has a bay view, expect to pay four to ten million dollars, maybe even more. Now, if you're really special, you can get one of these houses with a bay view and a boat dock. Most of these boat docks are private boat docks, though there are four public boat docks. So if you were boating into the island, that is another way to get here. You don't just have to take that bridge. You can take your boat and come to one of the public boat docks that we'll see as we're walking around here. Um, so the entire island has this bayfront sidewalk that rings it, which is why it's such a great place to come and see the Christmas lights. And you might be wondering, well then Chris, why are you there in the day if the Christmas lights are so great? You know, because the daytime is just a much better day to actually shoot things. So Amy says it's a pricey area and I don't want to sign in ever says it is expensive. It is quite expensive. I mean, all well, California is not this expensive, but Balboa Island is a really iconic neighborhood. Uh, and actually, one of the uh, actors from the Beverly Hillbillies had lived here on Balboa Island uh, for quite a number of years. And Newport Beach in general, there's a lot of, what do you call it, rich and famous wealthy people that live here. We, of course, do not live here. Uh, but um, Lucky Palmer famously lives here. He's the guy that invented the Oculus Rift, sold it to Facebook for hundreds of millions of dollars. You can see these private boat docks here with lots of Christmas lights on it. This house has also got a lot of garland and uh, ornaments on it. You can tell it's a really safe neighborhood being an island because houses just leave their beach furniture out in front of it with the decorations and um, pillows and Santa Claus. There's a fire in this house. They've got two Christmas trees and they've got a little sign here that says, may the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace as you trust in him so that you may overflow with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. And there was a question of if we just heard the little traveler. Yes, the little traveler. She is now oh, this side. She is right back there in the Poco Plus in the backpack coming along for this walk. You know, in Southern California, in our lockdown restrictions, uh, the beaches are open, sidewalks are open, and they encourage us to go outside and go for walks. So I figured I would take you all walk today. Hey, yeah, that's right. Awesome. This is called Yellow Productions if you want to see yourself later. It's a live stream. Yeah, right on. I always love when people say hi on the live streams. Natalie says, Chris, it's pretty pixelated. I wish I could do something about that. Unfortunately, I guess my um, 
what's the word I'm looking for? My offerings to the live stream gods uh, must not have been uh, accepted enough. And I guess that's the challenge about doing a live stream on a island. So maybe the cell phone service isn't as good as it could be. Uh, Stephen Osborne says, come to Florida. We are open. And there was a note that said, I know Kobe Bryant lived here. Kobe Bryant actually didn't live on Balboa Island. Uh, he actually lived in Irvine, which is the city right next door to Newport Beach uh, in a gated community up there. Um, no, but just nearby, within a few miles of here. Now, one thing that Balboa Island is famous for, Balboa Island is famous for the Christmas boat parade. They have a holiday boat parade where they always have boats that go in the harbor and they decorate for the holidays. It's definitely one of the epic things to do down here. Uh, of course, it's canceled this year, but if you're in the area next year, definitely check that out. Um... And uh, Layla says the Balboa Island service is bad. I, I guess I need to make more offerings uh, to the live stream gods. Jazz This says, this is the street that I lived on, Sapphire Avenue. There was a guy that lived in this house right here, this white house, that always did some really epic Christmas lights. And now this, at the end of Sapphire Avenue, is one of the public docks. So we can go ahead and walk down here. By the way, you can tell that it's a public dock because it has a sign right down here that says, public dock as opposed to the rest of them that are private docks. So the four of these are public, uh, which is also a great spot if you want to do uh, like a selfie with the bay in the back or something like that. we got a couple of kayakers here that look like they're launching uh, from the dock. Oh, and the pigeon says maybe Balboa Island has no internet. I guess I'm, I would probably be connecting to a cell tower on the mainland, off the island, over this way. But when I started this live stream, it said 5G and it said uh, five bars. So I don't know what the issue is. And Jazz This says, yes, the guy who lived uh, in that amazing house uh, that did the decoration, his name was Greg Zimmerman and unfortunately passed away. So sad. He was a super nice guy and I loved his Christmas lights. Uh, so this house, the Christmas lights aren't on, but you can see there's like deers that light up and there's a merry ho 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 flag so again if you live here in orange county or you're coming through orange county in the holidays and you're looking for the best place to see christmas lights this is it this is also i think the best place to go trick-or-treating because the kids can just walk along this oceanfront sidewalk no real cars to deal with it does get really busy uh, and natalie says no matter the technical difficulties it's still good to see the sun and the sunshine well thank you natalie for that uh, so this is kind of cool a lot of people decorate their mailboxes here this mailbox they've painted it to look like the ocean it's got like a whale on it that's neat um people decorate their boat docks you know how many places can people say yeah i put some christmas decorations on my on my boat dock life is it's definitely hard here on balboa island i think it's kind of cool how they um put the christmas decorations on the lamp posts along the walk uh wu tai says you are a legend this is amazing live video thank you wu tai i appreciate you joining in i appreciate everybody else joining in by the way if you are enjoying this live stream although perhaps maybe slightly pixelated uh, i would appreciate it if you give it a thumbs up uh, that helps me out quite a bit tells youtube that people are enjoying this live stream and that youtube should share it with other people uh, Sean asks, what's the best beach in Los Angeles and San Francisco? Uh, my favorite beach neighborhood in Los Angeles is um, Santa Monica. But I think as far as beaches go, like I don't know, Rancho Palos Verdes has some really neat, like kind of secluded beaches, if you like secluded beaches. And Amy says, I just liked the stream. So thank you very much. And here, this one, this one's a little more decorated right here. This lamppost says, Merry Christmas. And then they've also got a little piece of white picket fence on it with a snowman. 
in a bag that says, let it snow. They've got fancy water fountains here. These aren't just any public water fountains, but you can see this water fountain. It's got where you could drink. It's got where you could fill a bottle. And it's also got where a doggy could drink just down there. Uh, Wu Tai says, I used to walk with my baby in the harness, but never could stream with her in public back then. Uh, why? Because she was too noisy or you couldn't stream back then? I'm curious. Our little explorer, I think she actually likes the sound of Papa's voice. And so that keeps her pretty calm. She loved to see herself too. So there she is on that. Today I'm streaming with the same setup that I was streaming with yesterday. I've got the headset you usually see me do the live streams on. Samsung Galaxy S20 on the DJI Osmo Mobile 4. And then I've got all this plugged into my waste pack right here of the Zoom H6 to make this all work. Let me turn this back around because you're not here to see me. You see me all the time. This is another really quite decorated lamp post. They've almost put something on it to make it look like snow and they put tree branches on it and then there's some lights that are over here at the top. That's pretty cool. And a couple of cactuses here. Even the cactuses are decorated. Cactuses, that is not a word. The plural for cactus is cacti. And if you know that, then you get, uh, then you get uh, an extra doggy treat. Uh, somebody said uh, there's a thumbs down on this live stream. Screw them. Well, you know, maybe they got here and it was blurry and they decide to leave. But for everybody who gave it a thumbs up, I appreciate it. You know, there's all these people that just love to come and give things a thumbs down. One of the things that we're going to be taking a look at as we walk around is we'll be taking a look at the Balboa Island Ferry. Uh, which is on the other side of the island. We're gonna be doing a walk around the whole island and then through the business district. Rachel says, how big is the island? It's small, it's 0.2 miles like in one direction. Uh, the walk around the whole island is just about a mile if you ring the island. It is um, one of the most densest, densest places to live in the US. Uh, the lots are 35 feet by 80 feet and one of the most expensive per square foot. Uh, Angela, Carlos both said they give the, the live stream a thumbs up. So thank you very much. Amy says the homes are pretty. They are pretty. This is one of the places when OC Girl and I come and walk here, we, we just dream. You know, we dream about when we have 10 million subscribers and that YouTube money is really coming in, you know, which by the way, those are, those are just dreams. Uh, on this lamppost, it says, happy holiday wishes from Pearl Avenue. I'm guessing it's the residents on these different streets that decorate their lampposts. I said, uh, I saw something for 5K a month for 650 square feet as a rental here. I, I believe that. That sounds like about a price you might pay to live on Balboa Island. Uh, something that's super popular here on the houses are uh, these like double doors. So bottom door, top door. That way they can just kind of open the top and keep the bottom door closed. Again, being a really safe place, you know, if there's a crime commit on this island with only one way in or one way out by car, uh, that's hard. Hey, look at this cool, it's a yellow boat right there, the lifeguard. Drives a neat yellow boat around here. Oh, and I guess somebody asked uh, again how much the property values are, and uh, yeah, they are expensive. The in inland ones without a water view are going to run you like two million to start, uh, and the ones that ring the ocean here upwards of ten million. Now Balboa Island is actually comprised of three islands. There's the main island, which is what we're walking around, and there's two smaller islands. There's one really tiny one that will be coming on around this bend. It's a the whole island is a private island. There's like eight or ten houses on it. And then there's also little Balboa Island, but they're all accessed by the same bridge. Now I guess a problem that they have is, uh, you know, they must have people who, um, what, uh, poop on their lawn here. So they've got a sign in English that said, no dogs, please. 
They've got a sign here in um, Russian, maybe, that says no dogs, please. They've got a sign in Spanish that says no dogs, please. They've got a few more signs, too. We won't look at all of them. Rachel asked, is it nice as a tourist? I think so. Uh, you know, when I've got friends that I'm showing around Orange County, I bring them to Balboa Island. Because uh, the other cool thing here is there's the Balboa Ferry, which is a car ferry. Uh, the ferry fits three cars on it, and it will take you between Balboa Island the Balboa Peninsula. You could drive between the two. If you were to drive, it's about a 20, 25 minute drive. Or you can take the car ferry for a couple bucks and a couple minutes. And you can take the car ferry with pedestrians, which is really fun. It's just one of those like really um, unique things to do. Now, this house is always legendary because this is the Balboa Island dinosaur house because they have a gigantic T-Rex dinosaur in front of it. And then they got a sign to let you know that they also have a book available about an amazing friendship between a boy and Balboa's resident dinosaur available at the Balboa Island Museum. We'll be checking that out when we walk around the business district. Sean says the island must have a five-star hotel, right? Um, there's no big hotel on Balboa Island. I think there's like, just like a little tiny one, sort of more like a bed and breakfast. Carlos has how many houses? I think there's about 2,000 people that call Balboa Island home. How many total houses that ends up with? I don't have the count of total houses, but it's, uh, it's small. Many people who, oh, here's a cool doggy. Look at this. Look at that friendly doggy right there. Relaxing, enjoying the view. He's also got a few birdie friends in his cage over here. Uh, Wu Tai says, that's cool. I accidentally turned right off the highway and found Balboa a few years ago. Was it Balboa Island that you found, Wu Tai? Or did you find Balboa Peninsula? Now, this harbor is made of a, of a bunch of islands. You can see in the distance, if it's not too pixelated, there's another bridge over there for another island to go to. But Balboa Island is the coolest. This house has a neat bunny gardener in front of it. He's got a carrot there. Carlos loves dogs. Randy wants to know if I've been to Canada. I've been to Canada once. I went to, on the, what, the East Coast. I went to Halifax. I have no videos on it, uh, but I would like to visit Canada more. I've not visited that, uh, our neighbors to the north all that much. Sean does early Easter. Yeah, there you go. I think they just like bunnies. OC girl likes bunnies too. This is the other island I told you about, the other private island. I think it's called Collins Island. We'll see it in just a moment. And then this house here, they've got, look, there's snow in Orange County, or at least something that they've made to look like snow, cotton that they've pulled over. They've got a couple tables out in front, but they've decorated their whole yard with Christmas decorations, snowmen, uh, things hanging off the balcony. Carlos says, one day I should do a Las Vegas walking tour. Uh, I should. Maybe the next time I'm in Las Vegas. Jazz, this uh, says Collins Island is so cool. I've never actually walked onto the island just because I guess it has the sign that says it's a private island. But uh, maybe Jazz, this, if, you know, if you're back here and meeting up with some of your friends, let me know and I'll, I'll come join you. So, okay, this, house, this is cool. So, okay, there's this mailbox. This is the mailbox of the house. And the mailbox looks like a house. And the mailbox looks like the house, right? It's a blue cottage house. And it's a blue cottage for the mailbox. You, I won't pull it open, but you pull this open and that's the mailbox and that's the flag. Amy says, Chris, gotta go. My family brought back McDonald's. Go enjoy your McDonald's, Amy. And if you want to, you can watch the rest of the archive later after McDonald's. Oh, something that's really popular on Balboa Island are these tile circles. Many houses here have their address or their names made out of this kind of like tile pottery circle. You'll see this around. Um, Angela says, what's the temperature here in Balboa Island? The temperature 
uh, is about 70 degrees right now and sunny. It is Wednesday, December 16th at 11.20 a.m. This is the small private island I told you about, Collins Island private property. This is the little bridge to go to Collins Island. We'll respect their sign that says private property. Uh, but then this side opens up to what I'll call the main part of Newport Harbor. Uh, and then that's the Balboa Peninsula down that way. So a peninsula, not the mainland. The mainland was the other direction where we started this live stream. And right here is where the Bayfront sidewalk changes names. Before we were walking on South Bayfront and now we're walking on North Bayfront. Natalie asked if there's any vacation rentals on the island. There are a ton of vacation rentals on the island. Actually, many of these oceanfront houses you can rent as vacation rentals. Uh, I think in particular, you know, popular place for people from Arizona to come in the summer when it's way too hot in Arizona, but it's much cooler here by the coast. The island used to be mostly these like little cottages that we see on the left, um, but over the years of more people have moved in, they've bought the lots, combined two of them, made them bigger. You'll also see this part of the island, the houses get bigger and the boats get bigger too. Wu Tai says uh, there is an awesome ice cream candy store heading north on one, leaving Balboa. Blood orange ice cream was amazing. I'm not sure I've eaten at that one, but very cool. Crazy Ray says, greetings from very cold Germany. Welcome, Crazy Race. Wu Tai's mom wants a bungalow. Yeah, your mom and my mom probably too. And uh, then there was a question of if I've been to Catalina Island, another island off the coast. Uh, and yes, I have. We've been there once, twice. Um, you know, it's good for like a day or two at the most. It's kind of cool. This house on the dock has a Statue of Liberty right there. I think that's always really neat. And uh, this is a neighborhood where you'll see some of the most American flags almost anywhere. I had to turn around just because I didn't mention that Statue of Liberty as we walked by this way. Uh, Eddie wants to know maybe when I'll go back to Canalita Island. I am not sure the next time we'll go back. Um, Maybe when there's better hotels there. I don't know. I'd like to go back again for another day. Just the ferry ends up being expensive. So this house has a whole bunch of like gingerbread men over the ocean. They've got like Santa's house that they've built here. And then if we look at the actual house, they've put this whole facade up in front of it so that it looks like the elves workshop. There's a couple of snowmen cut out. So you can see uh, as you would walk by here at night that this would be pretty Epic. Carlos says, one day I should make some Yellow Productions masks. You know, I, I tried to have some masks made from like a mask making company that makes masks. I had like panda faces put on them, but then when I got them, they just, they didn't look very good. So I tried it once and then didn't try it again. And I'm just maybe hopeful that the pandemic will go away soon once we all get vaccinated and then we, we won't, need to, won't need to wear these masks. Uh, you know, masks or if we have them down like this, you know, when there's nobody around, then they're, they're chin diapers. Occasionally, if you hear me muffle, just because occasionally I put this up as people go by. Uh, Natalie says, sell the masks anyway or give them away. I didn't, I didn't order like a gazillion of them. I ordered a couple samples. Yeah, it takes like three weeks to get the samples. And I was just unhappy with them. So if I had a ton, I would figure out a way to unload them, but it wasn't that many. This uh, boat, they've put some, uh, like a palm tree light on it. Jazz, this says the gingerbread house is owned by Vitarelli of Vitarelli Construction. He also sets up the movies in the park during the summer. Super nice guy. That's super cool. I love it. Thanks for letting me know that. I know the movies in the park that you've talked about as well. Uh, Carlos says, I'm wearing my Yellow Productions Crew t-shirt. Chris, awesome, Carlos. Andy says, the Catalina Ferry should be free. If the Catalina Ferry was free, I would totally go more often and also recommend it more. Colleen asks, what are my favorite places to eat on Balboa Island? There are not many places to eat on Balboa Island. Um, we will walk by the business district in a moment. A moment. 10, 15 minutes when we get over there. 
and we can see the restaurant place to eat. My actually favorite place to eat was a Mexican restaurant that's no longer there anymore. I think now there's like a supermarket that I would probably get some snacks from. Um, it just, uh, all the places are kind of like sit down places, nothing quick and cheap and eat longer. I might ask Jazz This, since Jazz This used to live here. Jazz This, do you have a favorite place? A popular activity is stand up paddle boarding. There's a couple of stand up paddle boarders out there. Two people on their stand up paddles and then two people sitting on their stand up paddles. I guess they, they didn't really want to stand up. Speaking of the Catalina Ferry, you can actually see it in the distance. It might be too pixelated, but just out here where there's this building with the steeple, that's where the Catalina Ferry leaves from on the Balboa Peninsula. So these streets, we've, so we're now on the other island from where I started, and it's about oh, three, three-ish blocks, two-ish blocks, something like that, between that side of the island and this the island. Now here we have a marine fuel company and the marine fuel mini mart so if you were driving by here on boat and uh wow that just got really blurry if you were driving by here on a boat you need to get some gas or something from a convenience store you could do that right here there's also they've got a yellow boat here in case you need a sea tow or a tug this is not the main business district this is the little business district um this is a sport fishing and tackle shop so if you want to get some fishing rods. You can pick those up here. Uh, there's a fruit and snack shop that opens in the summer to sell berries. And this right here, this is the auto ferry. So this is the ferry that takes cars and goes back and forth between the peninsula and the island. I'll give you a view of it from the other side so you can see it without being in the sun. And we've got, where's my map right here? Hi. You want to say hi in the live stream? Hi, live stream. Yeah, hey, it's where's my map? Check out his channel. All yeah, right, right, yeah, good. All right. Yeah. Good, to see good to see you too. Uh, all right, so this is the auto ferry and there's no cars on it. Um, Right now they're letting a bicycle on. We'll wait here for a moment while this um, disembarks. Uh, something like pedestrians are a dollar, bicycles cost a little bit more. And so three cars can go on this. You can see here that the cars come right down this street and they would load up through this wooden thing. And there we go. Away the ferry goes. Colleen asked if I've taken the auto ferry. I've taken the auto ferry a number of times. It's super cool to get like the front spot on the auto ferry because then you're like sitting in your car on the bay. It's, I mean, one of those kind of like amazing experiences. It's cool just to stand on it and it just takes you like a short two minute journey to the other side. There's a fun zone over there. There's the Balboa Pier. There's two piers on the peninsula side, and then there's the spot just over that, that way where you can take the Catalina Ferry from. It's not busy today, so they're only running two of them. They've got, this is one of the other ones that's like parked here right now, so you can see the seats and the life preservers. All right. Yeah, see ya. <clears throat> there's a couple of public restrooms on Balboa Island. This is one of them right here. When I say a couple of public restrooms, exactly two. One of them is by the ferry. There's also this Balboa Island Market and Grill here, which is like a liquor store, convenience store, plus a little window that you could get burgers from. Oh, El Marisco asks, how much is the ferry? So pedestrians are $1.25, bicycles are $1.50, uh, vehicles. The car itself is two dollars and twenty-five cents, and if you have passengers, they're a dollar twenty-five for the passengers. That is how much the fare is. Pretty inexpensive. Okay, so looking at how big Balboa Island is, this is a map of Balboa Island. So we started right here, and we crossed this bridge, and we walked along North Bay Front. We walked by. Well, Collins Island, they call it Bay Island on there. We are right here at the Balboa Island Ferry. 
This is the where they do the movies in the park over here. And we're going to walk around the rest of the bayfront, and then we're going to walk down the commercial street and then end right there as we get back to the bridge. This is Little Balboa Island. If you're coming uh, here in the summer and you're looking for a place to park and it's hard to park, it's over there. Now looking at this bigger map, this is where Balboa Island is in relation to everything else. So here's the island and then here's the Balboa Peninsula that I mentioned. So that's where the ferry takes you to. And then there's two piers out there on the peninsula. I'll do a uh, future video on the Balboa Peninsula. Carlos says, oh my gosh, only 81 people watching this live stream. I think it's fantastic that 81 people are here. And uh, if you're new and you haven't given the video a thumbs up yet, I would very much appreciate it. And then Randy says, what the... What the hell? The Catalina Island Ferry is $75. It is ridiculously priced, which is why I say I don't recommend it all that much. There's a bicycle rental shop here, Cecil's Bikes. You can rent bikes. They've got one for sale there for $2,000 if you're looking to pick up a new electric bike. Um, you can also rent these little, they call them Duffy boats here. Um, I'm going to, let's see, can we come up here and see the Duffy boats? These little boats here, these kind of like little electric things, they call them Duffy boats. They hold like roughly eight people. Um, we've got more Christmas decorations on this side. If you are coming to Balboa Island just to see Christmas decorations on one side, this is the part of the island. Check it out. We've got an artist here that's got some art. Let's take a look at these paintings. Pretty cool. Oh, I like that. Santa gone to the beach. Very neat. Yeah. And there's another one of the public piers right here. One of the four. So we've seen two of the four at this point. We've got some snowmen here that say, let it snow. Um... Miner says, I have a friend in SD, and she mentioned a few years ago that Balboa Park hosts some kind of Grinch event. Is this the same area? Well, Balboa Park is in San Diego. Balboa Island here, this is in Orange County. They're kind of unrelated. Um, I don't know about the Grinch event in Balboa Park. I do know that Balboa Park in San Diego, which is San Diego's biggest urban park, does have like a, like a holiday tasting thing that they call December Nights. I think was this last weekend. It's usually like one weekend that they do a whole bunch of special um, holiday stuff. So Balboa Island, this island itself is about a hundred years old. It celebrated its hundredth year centennial a few years ago. Now this house, like if I say one house is my favorite, it's this house, which is it. Topaz Avenue and North Bayfront. I love this house because it has, they do it differently every year. They have all these penguins and they set up the penguins in some different scene. This year, the penguins are ice skating. This is a penguin ice skating rink. We can take a closer look at these penguins. This penguin right here, he's got a sleigh where he's got some snowballs there's a couple of penguins slaying back here this definitely must be the what the father penguin or the emperor penguin and you can see they've all got ice skates this one's got a skirt uh back in the back they've even got a squirrel climbing up the tree this penguin is taking his dog for a walk i think that's cool and so although they canceled the um boat parade they're still doing the Christmas home decorating competition and so you can see the houses that have won the Christmas decorating competition because they get that sign on it right there and obviously this I mean this is definitely an award winner right this is amazing and in addition to that there's a house that has its private boat dock that they've decorated with a really big American flag if you're looking for some place to take a picture of yourself with a big American flag in the background this is the place. Okay, I'm gonna take a sip of water now. So if you hear some crackling, that's a water bottle. As everybody knows, I can only talk so much before I drink 
question, has Topher come here with me? Uh, Topher certainly has been here with me, or at least uh, one of the Yellow Productions Panda crews, probably the original Topher that was here back in the past. Topher's been with us on a lot of our travels. We have some previous videos on Balboa Island. So after this, if you want to check out our Things to Do video where we actually ride the ferry and we visit the fun zone, I put a link to that in the description. Now, if there's a second favorite house that I have for the holiday decorations, it is this house. This is the Berry House. This lady collects bears. Everything about this house is bears. There's a huge bear out here. And then if you look in the windows, there are tons of bears in the windows on the ground floor and on the top floor. All of those windows are full of bears. She's got a sign that says Berry Christmas. If you would like to see inside this house, actually Jeff Graham and I went inside this house. The lady who lives there was kind enough to show us inside and show us all the bears. You can find that in my Balboa Island things to do video. Again, links in the description for that to watch after you watch this one. Uh, Alexandria says, uh, our little explorer is really quiet. Is she asleep? Let's see, is she asleep? Can we sit in there? Uh, I don't think so. I think she's awake. It's hard to tell because of the sun, but I feel her moving around a little bit, so I'm going to say she is not currently sleeping back there. This microphone also does a really good job of canceling out sound, but she is also pretty quiet. Um... Let's see, Randy asks if I am getting In-N-Out Burger after this. You know, In-N-Out Burger after this sounds pretty good. I will have burned off quite a few calories, I think, with the uh, backpack on my back. This is cute. There's a couple of, um, in these pots, there's a couple of little Christmas trees that they put down here that they've also decorated with ornaments. I think that's neat. Uh, Kay Clark asks if I've been here at night. Uh, if so, is it crowded? Uh, yes, we've been here at night. If you're here like on the weekend, close to Christmas, it does get pretty crowded. Um, you know, the best time really to walk around, like if you're coming a time to walk around here is like sunset time. Because uh, then you kind of get to see the sunset and the lights are already on. Uh, I'd recommend coming on a weekday, like come. Monday through Thursday to walk around here. It's not too busy. Friday and Saturday do get pretty busy. Sean asked, uh, what happened to the second part of my live stream from yesterday? It's not here. Yeah, I guess I hit the wrong button afterwards. Uh, and YouTube deleted the second part of yesterday's live stream. So sorry, only the people who saw that live got to see it. Um... Hey, Mark from Walter's World is here. Hey, Mark from Walter's World. Uh, it does look like a fun little area. How are you doing, Mark? Thanks for dropping in to the live stream today. And Natalie says, Mark, we love you too. And Carlos says, Walter's World is here. Carlos asks, which one I like. Do I like McDonald's or In-N-Out Burger? Definitely In-N-Out Burger. Carlos, have, haven't you been on this channel long enough to know I like In-N-Out Burger? These are historical. This one here, it's got a little plaque that you can't see. says it was built in 1937. They've also got a little free library in front. So if you want to pick up some books to read or something like that, you can pick it up from that little library. Take a book, return a book. This house has a pretty nice front yard in it, and they decorate their trees all the way to the top to make them look like candles. Uh, Mark from Walter's World says, seriously, Chris is personally keeping In-N-Out Burger in business. I, I am. I am personally keeping them in business. I need to do my duty. Uh, here's another uh, dock that they've decorated. You can see there's a Mickey, inflatable Mickey out there. There is a helicopter. And then if we look to the left, this house is always epic. Uh, so up at the top of this house, there's this thing that spins and it's got some reindeer on it and it's got Santa Claus on it that goes around. There's a animatronic teddy bear that moves. 
and the, the creme de la creme of this house right here is this snowman. This snowman says, touch me, I'm real. And in fact, this snowman is actually real ice. If you were to touch this, it would be cold. And I know you can't feel it through the live stream, but this thing is actually real ice. Um, there's probably some ice scientists or engineers that could tell me how they do that, but it's pretty neat. The kiddos love to touch it too. Popular place to walk dogs around this island. Uh, now, you will notice that there's only people walking here. It's because on the bayfront walks on this island, they do not allow... Um, they do not allow skateboards, and they do not allow bicycles. So only pedestrians on the Bayfront Walk. Walter, uh, Mark from Walter's World says, Chris, what is the temperature there right now? It is about 70, 72 degrees. I'm like, it's pretty, pretty nice temperature. Question was, where did I park? Um, I don't remember the street name, but... Uh, connections issues so hopefully I'm back yeah I will keep pushing the of the box right here this is on Coral Avenue almost every one of the main streets has like a bench that you could sit on to enjoy the view now something I'll also point out this seawall right here used to only be uh, this high right here and they made it higher uh, because of all of the sea level rising. So, you know, I don't want to get into the whole global warming thing, uh, but certainly sea levels are rising, and you can see that here at Balboa Island because they had to make this seawall taller uh, because the houses and sidewalks were getting flooded when it would have the epic high tide. This one's a pretty cool boat dock. It's got like a fork on it and it's got two sides to it. Great American flags. Okay, Clark says, um, we lost you. I didn't hear the answer where to park. Uh, so generally when I come on the island, I park on the island. I think the best place to park if it's busy is on Little Balboa Island. Um, so to get there, you drive down Marine Avenue and then eventually you turn left. There's only one bridge to go over there. I usually come in on Marine Avenue and turn right on the first alley. And I usually find parking within the first few blocks that I go down that way. Uh, in, like if you're here and it's really busy for say Halloween or like a, you know, a holiday boat parade or something like that, then take an Uber or you can also park out on the the street, like right before you get on the Balboa Island, we parked out there before and then walked on. Uh, Tao Empire Kid asked if I'm carrying our little explorer. I think I hear her. Indeed, she is right back there. You can see her. She's awake back there in the Poco. Perry says, thanks, Chris. I've been here. Oh, let's take a look at this car right here. Milko says, if I'm living on the island or just a trip, just walking around the island, I do not live here. Uh, I'd like to, but I don't. That's cool. This is a little, I don't know what you'd call this car, but they've decorated it for the holidays. It's got its antlers and it's got its garland. A popular mode of transportation on this island is golf cart. Uh, and there's actually dedicated golf cart parking spaces on the main street. Uh, Perry says, I have that GLE Mercedes. Very nice. Colleen says, your little explorer is already a good traveler. She is. You know, when uh, Mark and I did our joint live stream, Walter's World, about traveling in the future, I think we talked about traveling with kids. And he says, get him, get him traveling early so that they appreciate traveling. So that's what I'm trying to do. Get her in to enjoy the outside, which she pretty much does. When she's in this backpack, she's pretty happy. And uh, it's, only, it's only when I stop moving that then she gets unhappy. Because then she's like, what happened to my elephant? Why doesn't my elephant move anymore? My elephant needs to keep moving. 
that's what I that's what I call her. Also, walking around with a baby in a backpack like this, you know, I get tons of people that say hi to me. I get tons of people that say hi to me, obviously because I wear a bright yellow T-shirt and maybe they recognize me from YouTube. But I get more than that to be like, oh, it's a baby, and so everybody waves, and then I realize, oh, they're not, oh, they're not waving at me. They're they're waving at our little explorer. I don't I don't blame them. Uh, Jazz This says, those palm trees look so cool at the end of Marine. Very good. Jazz This uh, has an expert who lived here before. This is the end of Marine Avenue, which is the main street, which is the same bridge that you come in on, and they're really tall palm trees. Uh, Milk asks, how many people live on the island? It's about 2,000 people that live on the island. So there's about two more blocks this way past Marine that we're not going to walk on. But we're going to turn left here and go down the main business district. So if you were trying to do this walk yourself, uh, right, that would be the route. Just make sure you look for Marine Avenue and then walk down it as the business district. Perry wants to know how's the Topher family. Topher family, the Yellow Productions crew, doing quite well. They're hanging out at home, eating some bamboo today as usual, taking a, a midday nap. Hu Taiwan says, our kid will rack up a million miles before she starts school, probably. Probably. We'll definitely get her traveling. Uh, Tao Empire Kid says, how much do those beachfront houses cost? Uh, about $10 million if you want. One of the ones right on the harbor. One of the nice ones that has a public boat dock. James says, what is OC Girl doing today? OC Girl's working today. I know. The life of work. I started a little bit of my holiday vacation a little early, so that's why I'm out here. Though I think she might be uh, at the supermarket right now. Uh, Sean said I should redo my live stream from yesterday. I probably won't redo it per se, but uh, I might do a recorded one in Laguna Beach at some point. Just because I also know that sometimes there's connection issues and pixelation on these live streams. Um... Angela says, Merry Christmas. Got to run. Bye, Angela. There's a cool white house here, kind of colonial looking. Question of what does OC Girl do? OC Girl is a network engineer. So she makes the bits and bytes that move the internet and things around go. This here is the Newport Beach Fire Station. There are two fire engines that hang out in here. And uh, they always put a Christmas tree out in front of the fire station. This is where the second public bathrooms are on Balboa Island. Now this right here, this is the Village Inn. This is Balboa Island's only bar. Uh, it's been here for about 80 years. So if you're looking for a historic place to eat, check that out. Uh, Layla wanted to let you all know that there is a bathroom in the fire station, and indeed there is. She didn't have to retract her message. Um, and you can see here in front of the Village Inn, there's also where there's some dedicated golf cart parking. And it's dedicated golf cart parking because you can actually see that they've got the spaces are small and they've painted little golf carts on them right there. Now, the restaurants, nobody's here. Why is nobody eating here? It's noon. When you think people be eating here? Well, in Orange County, indoor dining is closed, outdoor dining is closed, so restaurants are only available for takeout and to-go orders. All right, let's keep going down this business district. So there's one kind of supermarket here on the island. It's this one. It's the Irvine Ranch Market. This is a pretty cool supermarket. If you're looking for something to like picnic or eat like that, that's a good place to check out. Uh, we've got Wilma's Patio here, which is kind of another old classic restaurant here. And uh, you'll notice they are actually doing outdoor dining. Now, the, the order from the state says no indoor dining, no outdoor dining. But a lot of restaurants have actually said, uh, you know what? We're gonna we're gonna do dining anyway because if we don't, we'll we'll go out of business. Uh, so a lot of restaurants call it their uh, what's the word? Um, quiet protest, peaceful protest. All right. Um, here we've got the Balboa Island Museum. So if you came to Balboa Island and you wanted to know more about the history, you could check that out right there. 
Carlos is back after eating some pizza. Welcome back, Carlos. This is the classic post office on Balboa Island. It's neat. Everything's like wood inside. Uh, there's a beef jerky shop. If you're looking for something like cheap to pick up, like a hot dog or something like that, there's a place here called uh, Crockers, and it's they could do like hot dogs and muffins and things like that. And they've got these neat little tables and booths to sit at. Um, there's a lot of gift shops on Balboa Island. Here we go. This is kind of like a surf shop. Balboa Island surf and style. I've got some, you know, a bike, boogie boards out in front. You can rent a beach cruiser for $10 here. Where would you ride it? You wouldn't really ride it around the island because you can't ride it around the Bayfront Walk. But uh, you could take it to the ferry, to the peninsula, and then ride it along there. There's a couple of small restaurants here. This one, uh, Basilic, is Swiss French cuisine. This one's generally like a dinner time restaurant. And then there's a small Italian restaurant over there. These always look good and smell good. We uh, have never eaten at them, though. Uh, there is a cool bakery over here, the Balboa Island baking company and the Balboa Island baking company has uh, really good cinnamon rolls by the way if you heard somebody saying this is so cute she was talking about the baby in back here's another Italian restaurant this one's called uh, Ciro pizza pasta and uh, in Newport Beach Unlike Laguna Beach, uh, there are more restaurants that are doing outdoor dining. In Laguna Beach that I walked through yesterday, uh, there were no restaurants were doing outdoor dining. This is um, Sir La Mer Coastal Goods. Neat gift shop if you want things for your beach cottage look. The uh, pandemic has closed a couple things. On my left, there was a yogurt store, and on my right, there used to be a Starbucks. Both of those things have closed. There's one Chinese restaurant here called New Shanghai Pine Garden, uh, which is owned by the parents of the guy who started the Wahoo's um, Fish Tacos chain. So if you've been to Wahoo's Fish Tacos, the parents of the brothers that started that own this Chinese restaurant. Across from the Chinese restaurant is the Balboa Candy Shop. Uh, OC Girl and I always like to get a few candy pieces in here. It's one of those where you go and get the candy like by weight that come out of these barrels, something like that. Get some saltwater taffy, always tasty. Carlos asked if I've seen another Vegas channel called Vegas 4K. I've not seen that one. Should I look into it? Milko says, I love to see people enjoying their food and drinks at the restaurants. We're in full lockdown here in Holland since yesterday. I'm sorry to hear that, Milko. Um, hopefully the vaccine comes soon and we can all enjoy restaurants again. Uh, one of the things that's really popular on Balboa Island are frozen bananas. And across the street, there is this place called Sugar and Spice with the blue awning. They say they have the original frozen banana. I'm going to zoom in on this a little bit. And uh, so ice cream bars and Balboa bars, which are basically like an ice cream bar dipped in chocolate with a whole bunch of other toppings on it. But there's two places here that specialize in frozen bananas and Balboa bars. There's that one, and then there's Dad's coming up uh, in a moment on the other side of the church. Here there's a restaurant called the Royal Hen. They are not open for dining. Instead, they've uh, turned themselves into a coffee cart, and they've pushed a, a coffee cart up in front of it for drip cold brew or Vietnamese coffee, five bucks. Uh, speaking of golf carts, this is a really cool looking golf cart uh, right here that they've kind of got uh, decorated up. That doesn't focus all that well, so zoom back out. Jazz, this says, a friend of ours actually rented the apartment space above Dad's Donuts. Imagine smelling donuts all day. Wow, that had to be something. Uh, I, I assume you mean 
the one, like the building right next to it there, or the one in back? I guess there's one in back too. Either of those would smell like donuts. Okay, here's a real estate office. And uh, let's see. So people ask how much these houses cost. Here is a house on Collins Island, that private house. We walked by this one. This one was sold $8 million. Um, you know, here is an interior house. This one, three bath, four bedroom, 2,400 square feet, sold $2.6 million. Uh, cheap one right here. This house is two bedrooms, one bathroom, 700 square feet. The lot is 1,141 square feet. It was built in 1924, offered for $1.4 million. Yeah, there we go. So that's kind of what you're looking at at the low end for something really tiny. I said $2 million. You can get one for $1.4. Cheap. Of course, Amazon's here delivering some stuff. So I, it's hard to see this place, but the other place for Balboa bars and uh, frozen bananas is Dad's right here. Um, just on the other side of the church from Sugar and Spice. Mitchie wants to know if I will do Huntington soon. It would seem likely, uh, but uh, I'm not sure when I will do Huntington. But yes, kind of the Huntington area, Huntington Beach Pier. That sounds like something uh, that I would do soon. I see somebody with a parrot. That is awesome. I love it. Friendly person with a parrot. Here, I'll step aside. Pretty good. All oh, right, on. Very cool. I'm doing a live stream. So, all oh, right, on. That's cool. What's your name? Jesse. Jesse. Yeah. And uh, what's your Scarlet. Scarlet? Nice to meet you, Scarlet. Yeah. Uh, we're doing a live stream. Yeah, walking around the island. Does your parrot have a name? Yeah, Dante. Dante. That's cool. How old is Dante? He's a little over here. Right on. I love it. Have you had him for that amount of time, or? Yeah, since he's a baby. Yeah, that's cool. Well, let us stop by, say hi. Yeah, right on. Well, thank you for saying hi. Pleasure to see you. Enjoy the rest of your walk. Bye, Dante. Bye, Scarlett. That's cool. I always love seeing fellow explorers and saying hi to them. I tried to repeat what they said because I know that you probably can't hear them all that much. Um, Nikki says, uh, Griffith Park Tour. Yeah, I want to do it once the Griffith Observatory opens, um, but until then, I probably won't. Here's another place that rents uh, bicycles. Uh, right here, they've got some of these new rad-powered bicycles, which are electric bikes. Again, you could take those over to uh, the Balboa Peninsula and ride them over there. And this is uh, the last shop here on this side. Uh, looks to be, it's an interior design place, but it looks like they got like a lot of art out in front. You could get uh, like a painting of the auto ferry that we saw, or you could get some pictures of the waves from the wedge. There's this epic wave on the peninsula side of Newport Beach um, that's right by this, uh, what's it called, jetty? Uh, called the wedge right there. And if you're curious, this painting is on sale for $329. Probably a picture that was printed. The bells of the church are tolling that it is 12 o'clock. And now after that walk, after one hour, we are back right where we started on the bridge on Marine Avenue to come into Balboa Island. Well, everybody who is here, I want to thank you very much. If you didn't get a chance to give this live stream a thumbs up, I would appreciate if you do. Uh, tells YouTube that you guys like this video so that YouTube shares it with more people. If you are here in Orange County looking for Christmas lights, definitely check out Balboa Island at nighttime. If you want to see more of Balboa Island, you will find link in the description to my full Balboa Island video and until next time oh I'm in front of the shade right there until next time I won't say goodbye because I'm going to see you all in the next live stream I saw Kathy just joined in welcome Kathy because she probably just woke up in Australia when's going to be the next one I don't know I kind of do these as I wake up and feel like it and little explorers in a good mood and we go outside so if you want to know when i'm doing the next one sign up for my email up 
update list. I will blast out an update at least an hour before I go live on one of these. Uh, it's update.yellow-productions.com. You'll find a link in the description to that. Uh, and I'll see you on the email list or I'll see you in the next live stream. All right. Bye, all.